Hopefully I said something right. Omen Hobby Full Case 169. Good luck, everybody, and thank you for the fail, guys. I got to add, actually, uh, after this, actually, you know what I'll do right now before I start taking packs? Let me go add number 170 in the store, guys. We got a few more cases of this stuff. Let me go add in number 170 to the store. Actually, let me make sure. You too, brother, you too. I'll let you guys know if I'm going to add in another Bowman Hobby to the store, guys. Still going to take me like 20 minutes to open these packs. Guys, never mind. This will be our last hobby for now, guys. I will add in some definitive, though. I'm focused, Cousin Vinny, I'm focused. I'm envisioning Drew Jones Jr. I'm envisioning um, Cam Collier. It took me a minute to think about that. I'm envisioning them all. Uh, Phobia, I'm, I, I want to say they've been shipped already, Phobia. I don't, I don't like fully, fully know, though. Guys, everything Bowman in the chat is going to be hitting the screen, guys.
Everything Bowman in the store. Bowman Chrome is after this. We're trying to clear it up for now, guys. Perfect, perfect. Prime Chuck, I'll, I'll text you. Um, actually, hiding the auto color till the end. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. Always. I literally, I, I stack my first row. And then I rip that, and then normally my first roll goes on the bottom. I just open up packs up the same way, so I, I remember the correlation. That's how I, it helps me remember the correlation, is by opening the packs the same way. Speaking of, there's an orange. There's our orange. How do we guess the orange, guys? Why don't we guess the orange? I'll do it for 25. The first orange. Doesn't matter if it's an insert, if it's the auto, if we get multiple oranges or reds. Guess the first orange. I'll do that for $25 in Bless Bucks credit. I know guarantee that there's an orange. That's why. Let's see a red. What's up, Zach? Guys, just do me a favor. If you guys are guessing, just hit that like, guys. Anybody can guess out there. Even if you don't like me, you can guess. It's totally fine. <laughs> do it, Stony, Stony Baloney. Let's go. I'm envisioning big names. I'm envisioning it. I also took the case that has a dirty uh, label. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I mean, I'm liking the cases that have like ugly labels right now. <laughs> Whether or not it means anything, I don't know, but I'm just superstitious. Yeah, I like the stream, boys. It, it actually really does help. I'm learning a little bit. Oh my God, how about them lions always? I was screaming at the TV, dude. I was like, what the fuck you doing, Jared? Jared Goff. I was like, how the hell are you going to throw three interceptions in one game? You had the streak for the, the most, the, the least, the, the least um, interceptions. You, have, you almost had the streak and then you throw three in one game. Come on, man. I'm not, I can't sit here and say I'm a true Lions fan, guys, always. And I've said this before. 
But I will say this. I, I, that was the first team that had my heart from when I was a kid, so it has a special place in my heart, for sure. I'm not a diehard, but how can you not love Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, Josh Ren uh Josh Reynolds? Josh Reynolds? Jameson Williams? Eh, okay, baby. Yeah, see, 34 years... You were dra you were dragged through the dirt. You got you got that heartache in you. You know what I mean. Uh oh, here comes here comes Wild in with his Steelers. You know what's funny though, Wild in like Barry was the very guy that got me too. Always he got me too. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not like a dude, Freisenheimer like. if Kenny's a bum like I was the very guy that, that said I didn't like Kenny Pickett but he does he does show he shows some flash and then I'm like ah all right all right and then and then he just and then he plays horrible like the next game it's like ah I didn't watch it don't tell me don't please don't don't tell me always don't tell me I know about his documentary I didn't have a chance to watch it yet but I need to watch it he explains why he did the suddenly suddenly retired. Like, I have to watch it. Zach Wilson is. I'm sorry. I tried to support the young fella. I tried to support him. I just I can't get. I can't get um. I can't get behind Zach Wilson. Like, I said it at the beginning of the season. He said that during this offseason, I mean, during this season, as he's getting ready in the preseason, he said he's ready to accept the number two role. Is exactly what he said. And, and from playing number four after Aaron Rodgers got hit, it looked like he didn't even care. It looked like he didn't know the play calling. It looked like he, he looked like a fucking fish without water out there. Like, I hated that. It's like, if you, if you say those types of things, like, okay, I'm going to take... I'm gonna be number two. I'm gonna learn under Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember all the play calling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be prepared. And then you're not prepared. Like, there's no excuse for that. That's your job. That's your, that's your job. That's probably an insult to fish. Yes. But like, look, but like, look at Josh. Do like, look at Dobbs for the Vikings. Like, Dobbs is a great example. Dobbs is probably like the, the best example of it. He said, I'm not talking shit about your Jets, Vinny. I know you guys love your Jets out there. I'm not talking I'm not I'm not talking that, that much smack, but he wasn't prepared. He wasn't prepared. That's the only thing that bothered me about Zach. I said it and I bet on the Jets week one versus uh versus the Bills. And we won, thankfully, although Backer lost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on that. So I felt bad going against Backer. But I didn't know Backer had that kind of money on it. <laughs> <laughs> on an eight leg parlay. I like dancing on the ceiling more. <laughs> no, dude, that Jordan Addison kid, dude. That Jordan Addison kid is something else. That Jordan Addison kid, I like him. The rookies this year are pretty damn solid, though. Jameer Gibbs, Jordan Addison, Devon Achan, a like. Solid rookies. No pro packs that I've seen yet, any. Jamie Swinston, 2014 rookie. Where was his rookie year? At Saints, right? Or was it? No, yeah, it was Saints, right? Bucks, Saints, Saints. Gotta be Saints. I don't know. I think Kenny Pickett got... I don't know. There's days... That, yeah, it was, it was Bucks. It was Bucks. That's right. That's right. It was Bucks. I think Kenny Pickett got... um. I don't hate him. Tell him, cousin. Tell him. <laughs> the Chiefs looked like shit last night. I'll tell you that much, though. The Chiefs looked terrible last night. You guys see? You guys see that? Um. Ah, 
don't know about that. I think Kenny Pickett will be okay. I'm not saying that I love the kid or anything. I think he'll be okay. He does not look good at all this season. I didn't care for him too much this season, but he has those flashes. That is true. And that hurts George Pickens, them, who's like waiting for it. I am plunging the Dolphins on Friday. We are going to plunge the Dolphins. That's all I know. We are plunging the Dolphins. So if you guys, you guys are Jets fans, you might not want to be in the baseball room when I'm here all day Friday. But we're also, we're also going to plunge. You know who else we're plunging on Thursday? Lions, baby. Not even close. We're plunging the Lions. Book it. You heard it here first. We're plunging Lions. Plunging the Lions. We're going to plunge the over. Going to plunge the over. Plunge the Lions. Going to go Jared Goff for two touchdown passes. Going to go Dak Prescott for two touchdown passes or more. I think both QBs are going to throw over 250 yards. I'm going, I'm going everything over on that game. That's an over game. That's an over game for sure for me. saying Kenny is that guy well and like trust me let me let me repeat it and bring you to I'm not saying Kenny Pickett is is a star is a superstar I think he'll be okay that's it that's it that's all I'm saying not saying I love the kid not saying he's gonna be a Super Bowl winner I don't think he got what it takes maybe in a few see no all sports that's what I was gonna say I said on a short week Thanksgiving I think it's over. I think everybody's going to be exhausted. I don't know, man. Najee. Najee's a rough one for me, bro. Same thing like Pickett. Like, sometimes I like him, sometimes I don't. Sometimes he shows that flash, and then sometimes, like, I think the Bengals still beat the Steelers. Sorry, Wilder, no offense. Even without Burrow, you still got Jamar Chase. You still got your weapons. Warren looks solid, and he's explosive. Warren is fast. Warren kind of looks like Jameer Gibbs a little bit. He's got, like, that real explosive speed. Even the kid on the Ravens. Who's that Who's that other running back on the Ravens? And he's he's just freaking fast. Who's the running... Who's that other running back, like RB2 or, or maybe even RB3? He is... That kid on the Ravens is freaking... Yeah, Keaton, Keaton. Dude, that guy... No. I gotta look it up. I'll look it on my phone. Whoever that kid is on the on the um on the Ravens, dude, that guy got that guy is fast. He's so explosive. As soon as he gets the ball, pew. Now, Gibbs is fast, too. I'm glad. It's tough, though, because he's splitting time with David Montgomery. So it's like you got you got a fast runner, and then you got a, a workhorse. You know what I mean? It's like it's like you got the fullback. It's like Montgomery's the, the fullback, almost. Gibbs, dude, Gibbs looks good. But, you know, I hate the fact that they got rid of DeAndre Swift. Because I, li I like DeAndre Swift a lot, too, back in 2020. He's, he's a good kid, too. I'm glad he's doing well with the Eagles, but I like him a lot, too. 
run up four feet to the toilet. I really, really like the rookies this year, though. The rookies this year look solid. Beyond solid. Who do you guys got for rookie of the year in, in the NFL? Who do you guys got for rookie of the year? I'm curious. I have a I have a I have a bias state. I have a very biased state. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Although, although in, in all in all fairness, in in all fairness, in all fairness, I also really like Gibbs and Addison. In all fairness. But it's probably, yeah, no, of course, they're going to go to Stroud, the QB. I know it ain't going to be close. That's the story of the year. The wrong Moody. I know it's sad who Funga got, he tore his uh, MC, MCL? MCL, MCL. No, Gibbs not going to have the numbers because he's splitting time with Montgomery. Addison might have some strong numbers too, though. And then you got, um, you got, uh, oh, it was AC, it was ACL. And then you got um, tight, the tight end on the Bills. Um, damn it, I bet on him almost every week and I can't think of. I can't think, I can't think of the damn Bills tight end. He looks solid. Michael Mayer looks solid. You are not in best football. Puka. Yeah, Puka. We forgot about Puka. Yes, I forgot about Puka. 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 Straight up, man. And Cooper Cup's hurt again. Yeah, Dalton Kincaid. Thank you, Kincaid. I wanted to say Dawson Knox, but I knew that wasn't the right answer. No, no, no. I was just saying I couldn't think of the name. Because <laughs> we've been betting on Kincaid like almost every week, I feel like. And Cooper Cup's hurt again. It's crazy. Look at the bright news, boys. We're only a few weeks away from the winter meetings. Only a few weeks away. I'll be much more in tune with baseball this year. How much I promise you guys. You know, I, I, I just wasn't... I, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated with Jameer Gibbs. I said it since week two. Jameer Gibbs just, just looked great. Detroit beat the Chiefs. That's why was it week one or week two? Detroit beat the Chiefs, and then they did. And then they didn't utilize Jameer Gibbs. They stopped utilizing him when Montgomery came back. Dude, I like Jordan Yamamoto on the fish. Who who was Jordan Yamamoto's rookie team? It was the Fish right, or was it St. Louis? He's a local brother from Hawaii. That's why we all supported Jordan Yamamoto. Yeah. Well, did they ever say what happened to him this past Sunday too, by the way? Oh, that Yamamoto. I thought you were talking about Jordan Yamamoto. Jordan Yamamoto's a local boy. I forget where he was pitching from. Oh, tribute. Brink, there's like three or four teams left on tribute, Brinky. Oh, he did aggravate his knee. I have not watched the Falcons really The last month I haven't watched the Falcons. He kind of started to get some usage like a month ago, I would say. And then, and then I stopped betting all Falcons games. I don't even watch the Falcons. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sam Laporta is a stud, too. Like we got a we got a nice class. Of course, everybody only cares about QBs most times, but
The border is a big piece, though. Number 88. All right, we're ready to show, guys. This is my last box right here. Ready to show. Did everybody guess their uh, orange guesses? Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to remember the guesses. <laughs> I don't know if we can see our orange guesses for 25. Yep, Sherlock, a little more definitive right after this. I only can add a case in at a time because we really don't have that much definitive. But I will, Sherlock. I'll let you guys know as soon as I add it, bro. We're about halfway full on number 54. Number 54, got to go tonight. Drew Jones, I'm focused. Drew Jones, I'm focused. I'm focused. Ooh. Good luck, guys. Good luck, everybody. Here's Rafaela. De La Cruz. <clears throat> Here's our first auto. Looks like a fish or Tampa. Say Tampa. It says Blue Jays. It's a Ponte on the base autograph for the Jays and Hanlon. Hanlon, excuse me. There's Gabe Gonzalez. I forget what that's called, but but you know what I mean. There's Malloy on the first. Adley on the insert. The junior. Spotlight. Green paper of Rodriguez, Mervis, Ruiz of the Atomic. By the way, I seen Spencer uh, Spencer Jones. I seen his first. I seen those getting redeemed. I seen the actual card. It's pretty solid on the Spencer. Josh Young. Is that kind of recent that he was signing his cards, guys? Because I haven't seen too many live cards of uh, Spencer Jones. <clears throat> Box one. Box two. Oh, they have been on eBay for a few months. I only kind of recently seen them. Like maybe like within the last month, I would say. Jay Young.
Green grass of Brooks Lee to 99 on the green grass. Oh, that makes sense. Here's our next auto. It's for the Angels. Outfielder of Joe Stewart on a Speckle Auto to two ninety nine. Come on. <clears throat> Gotta do better than this. There's Cole Young. Light blue of a Zeus Baez on the paper. Contenders Optic, but we call it Tick Tenders. Sosa on the pink paper. Juan Alonso on the Atomic. Piguero. Riley Green. Rodriguez. Got a sweat for Cincy Handling. We got a sweat. Carlos George. Damn it, we had a sweat there. Had a sweat there, Hanlon. Damn it. Not the right one. I knew not to get excited because that's happened to me before. So I knew not to get overly excited when we seen the C. Galarte. Uh, not not a bad one, everybody say. Okay. All right. You guys teach me a lot because I haven't really been keeping up with my baseball. Wait till next season. I'll be much more uh, well-versed. There's a Vena to 199 on the purple special thing, purple. Too many new parallels. Susak on the Atomic. Corbin. Green paper of your Seer Mercedes. All right. And that's the first three. Not the best three boxes, to be honest. 
Not the best three boxer that we've seen. Case and sleeve some of these ones, guys, real quick. Keep it moving. Oh, that makes sense. What about in the Royals organization? Is Gavin Cross and the um and that other guy? Shit, I can't think of the other guy. He was a dual autograph. Gavin Cross and he was a catcher, I think. Are they still pretty high up there on the uh Royals organization for any Royals fans out there. Cabrera. Got a sweat. That color looks good. Caden Wallace. Yeah, it was Caden Wallace. You are correct. Got a sweat. Here's the first orange. It's a shimmer. Good luck. See Reese. See Reese. It's a Ponte. I think we might be giving away 25. For the Blue Jays. J.M. Hanlon. 13 of 25 for the Blue Jays. Anybody guess him for our first orange? Okay, we got another sweat. This time it was a Marlin for sure. It's Troy Johnston on the gold auto for the fish and hawk. Hobby Hawk. Thank you to JM Hanlon on the do on the donation team, I would call it. What's up, Cope? All right, if nobody got that, I know for sure we got one more orange. Guess the next orange, and then we'll do it for 20, guys. Guess the next orange for 20. It, it feels a little lackluster right now, Steven. It does. Hopefully, we'll change it up, though. Maybe we're setting up for something big. Maybe. Maybe. Doing well, Cope. Doing well, buddy. Guess the next orange, because I guarantee you there's at least one more. There's our first Drew Jones base. There's a Giloff. Giloff. I said Giloff. Get your guesses in, guys. Let's go. Let's do it for 20 this time since we're re-guessing. Let's do it for 20. I'm gonna I plan on doing guesses all night long, guys. The only thing I ask is if you guys can hit that like button for us. Because that really helps. So, Babo, um, next to fin filling, Tribute 76. That's on a Bless Buster special deal. There's no kill prices. There's absolutely no deals off on that. We got Allen and Ginner, 62 and 63, four boxers. After Bowman Hobby, we're going to go into Full Case Bowman Draft. That's hitting the screen after this, Full Case Bowman Draft. And then we have Definitive. 54, that's going to end the case. I'm going to add in number 55, 6, and 7 in the store right after I'm done with this break, probably. That's pretty much the the next screen's coming up. And then after the full case of Bowman Draft, we'll do the sixes. We're clear. I'm basically clearing out the store. There's Brock Jones, Atomic. Full case Bowman Chrome. If I said draft, I apologize. Full Bowman Chrome. Stowers. I 
All right, that's the first four boxes, guys. Not, not the best. There is a ton of cards in this. What's up, Sea Otter? How you been? I haven't seen the Sea Otter in a minute. Good to see you, Sea Otter. Guys, you're guessing the next orange, guys. It's for 20, everybody. Draft is not in the store. Do we even have a release date on draft yet? I don't even know if there's a release date on it. I haven't checked our calendar yet, though, so maybe I'm wrong. Ramirez. For the Padres, it's Montesino, refractor out of the 499. Damn, this first half is not looking great for us, guys. I'm doing good, Sea Otter. It's good to see you guys. It's really good to see you guys. Always nice to see you guys here on Blessed Baseball. I got promoted this Friday. I'll be on all day on Blessed Baseball. My first 18 hours with you guys on Blessed Baseball will be on Friday. Something to that degree. So come hang out with me on Friday, on Black Friday, okay? Make sure you guys are here. We'll have a lot of Bless Buster deals, guys, going on on Friday. So make sure you guys come on. There's Chacon. Gunner. Refractor of a Royal for the Diamondback uh Diamondbacks. The Mariners. My my voice yeah, I blew my I blew my voice box out, that's for sure. I blew it out on that day. Like I couldn't even talk. It took about thirty six hours for my voice to even become like semi usable. Spencer the baddie. Atomic of Perez Jr. for the Mariners. <clears throat> I would say my voice is like 80% there. It's still not like fully recovered. I don't have like the strength. But it's, I mean, it's there. It's good enough there for sure. Dude, I, I feel so bad, dude. Like, I, I I don't peek. Like, you guys know when I'm when I'm breaking, I don't normally, like, I don't peek at cards and stuff. I kind of just, I like to show it because I like to find out with you guys. Like, for me, that's your best reactions is when, like, we find out together. I don't like giving the shit away. I hate that. Frelick to 125 on the Aqua. So when I picked up when I picked up that card and I saw the logo man and I seen Giannis, it, I seen it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, holy shit. I was like, this is like the most massive. No, I'm not a peeker. This is the most massive card I've ever seen in my life. Like it's one of those, it's one of those like defining moments. Like holy crap! Like guarantee. My bad, I didn't mean to not sweat that. There's a blue of Encarnacion. One thirty-three of one fifty on the blue lunar special parallel that I don't know the right calls for, but I'm making pretend I know the right calls for it. That was cool, yeah. Somebody texted me on that, and I was like, "Oh, cool." But you know, like I said, like I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not over here bragging about it or anything. Obviously, yes, I'm happy to to have hit it for for you guys, but I'm more happy for 
like the supporters of the channels, you know. Martinez, like, if we hit the Babe Ruth tonight and Otani, yeah, that's cool that my name is, you know, oh, my God, it's Babe Ruth and Otani. Like, that's cool. But you know what's cool is that you guys who are with us every day, you know, somebody's going to get to keep that card. Imarian boy to what 50 gold shimmer. That's what gets me the most happiest. You know, it's like it pays off for you to be a supporter of us. You know what I mean? That Ty Cobb was sick. That Ty Cobb was disgusting. I seen that cut and I was like, holy shit. Blue Lava of Young. Purple of Riley Green. That's a big Ty Cobb. Does Ty Cobb sell? I mean, obviously I'm familiar with Ty Cobb, Golden Era, and everything like that, but does he um does Ty Cobb sell real well? Just curious. I know he has a market, but I don't know how big Ty Cobb's market is. Obviously, I know he's bigger than your average bear, please. But I mean, I'm just curious. Anybody have like a number on that? Ten grand, maybe. Okay, yeah, okay. See, we're, we're okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're in the ballpark then. All right. Still a massive card, please. I'm not downplaying it. There's a James on a cracked ice. This is our first Drew Jones. Come on, we gotta have something lurking in here. There's a cam. That's our first cam I think I've seen. All right, that's the halfway point, guys. Let's wipe our hands clean. Let's try it again. Time to heat up. Time to heat up. Let's see a super now. Let's see a worthwhile super for us. That's all we need to get this room cracking again. There's a Piguero. JDO Sanchez on a true purple to 250 auto. The Angels is hitting Henny and Penny with another one. Dominguez, the Martian, he should be back this season. Prius on the Atomic. 
And Eddie Morrow told me to buy the Angels. Not a bad idea at this point. <clears throat> Charles to 199 on the Royals. Come on. Another Drew Jones. Five left. Come on, we gotta see something massive here. We gotta. We gotta. Don't do this to a hot rum on a Tuesday night for us. Solano for the fish. Hobby Hawk. He gets another one. Rosario. Max Wagner on a blue paper. All right. Come on. Come on, super. Give us a red. It's not the right one. It's El Monte. Refractor auto for the Reds. Since he, I think that was Hanlon. It was. We needed one. We needed one more right there. Let's try it for you now in Hanlon. Ozuna. Seriously, this case got to have something, man. We need something. Don't give up. We need something on this case, guys. We do. We really do. We got four left. We got four left. Don't give up on me, guys. Four left. Still a lot of things can happen. I know we're starting to panic, though. This case was definitely subpar up to this point. You know, blue lava of young. Baller. Junior. It's Wilmer Flores on a gold auto. 75, I'm sorry, yellow auto, excuse me, yellow auto. Of Wilmer Flores, yellow. I. Uh, I am. We're doing. Um, we're doing a sushi bake. I'm gonna do. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, and I, I highly recommend you guys try it. If anybody, show of hands. Actually, let me ask this question real quick. Show of hands as we're showing cards. Does anybody in this room like like a Chex mix, like a trail mix kind of snack? You know, pretzels, you know, crispex, all that kind of stuff. Show of hands. 
Who here likes like a Chex Mix kind of snack? Show of hands, show of hands. I will turn you guys on to something that I promise you, you will you will be like beyond addicted to. Kenny Gomez. Who likes Chex Mix stuff? Like the trail mix kind of. Oyster Shire, he's in. All right. Do me a favor. Look this up. If you guys know what Furi Kaki is. Okay, so battle is, so if you know what furukake is, you know, the Japanese rice seasoning with nori and everything like that, look up furukake Chex Mix, F-U-R-I-K-A-K-E, furukake Chex Mix. There should be a recipe online, or there should be a lot of Hawaiian recipes online. Look that up. It's basically, it's basically like three, four ingredients. It's butter, yeah, like Brent Gordon knows. But it's basically, and we got another orange, it looks like. We basically, it's like four ingredients. It's carol syrup, use corn syrup, butter, a little bit of soy sauce, shoyu as we know it. And you bake it, yep, yep. Look it up, I'm telling you, there's some recipes online you guys can try. I promise you guys, you'll be addicted for life. I shit you not. Just look it up, plenty of guys do it on YouTube. There's recipes on there. It's butter, carol syrup, sugar, and shoyu. That's it. And then you need furukake, and that's it. I, I'll make a video. I'm doing a video this year, so. Yeah, there you go. That's the only... I'm, dude, I'm telling you, Battle. If you guys got it, order the ingredients. It's going to cost you like 20 bucks. Don't buy the pre-brand ones. Do not buy it pre-made, because it's going to cost you $20 for like a... A little jar, like a mayonnaise size jar. Don't do it. It's gonna be like fifteen bucks. Make it yourself. Mercedes. Orange of Tamar. That's first off the print. One of twenty-five for the Pirates. Stein with a little bit of mojo there, Stein. No, exactly. I don't like. See, battle. It sounds like me and you are on the same page. I use the Crispex, I use the Bugles, I don't like pretzels. I don't like salted pretzels. But yeah, if you guys if you guys like Chex Mix and stuff like that, I'm telling you guys. That's like a sweet and salty. See, look, Phobia knows. Plenty of guys know. So yeah, I'm going to be cooking that. And then... We might be making like our, our own potato salad. We do like a crab potato salad. This is how does that one. It's about it really. Normally I help everybody cook though. That's usually what I end up doing. Parker, are we going to Top Golf? I'm focused. Cousin Vinny, I'm focused. I'm showing. Three left. Good luck. But if you guys like that, guys, go ahead and uh, you can tag me later and tag me in a picture if you guys try it. I'm telling you. I promise you guys it's the most worth it thing you'll ever love. A royal. I'll turn you guys on to it. Mayor on the blue lava. Yeah, see? Yeah, so I do about two or three containers. Exactly. All right, come on. Say Tampa for us. It's the Blue Jays again. It's Manuel Beltre on the orange shimmer auto. Eight of 25. All right. I'm going to ask this one time, Brink, and I, I'm not judging, but that sounds beyond disgusting. Because I don't really eat sweets. But if you're serious, I want pictures. Because I will never knock it until I try it. Aponte. Oh, 
Oh, I, I. Damn it! I didn't watch Elf, and I love Will Ferrell. I've never watched Elf. If you got, if if anybody knows me, go ask Mrs. Sam. I don't watch a lot of. I don't watch a ton of movies, unfortunately. I've seen a lot, but there's a lot of common ones like Back to the Future. I've never watched. I've never watched like a lot of the Disney movies and stuff like that. I've. Yeah. What game is it? James Wood on the refractor. <laughs> what game are you talking about? What game? How you lead? They're talking about games out there. Wait, what's happening, Parker? I'm so lost. Two left. Good luck. There's Lawler to 150 on the Atomic. Blue of Dylan George for the Rockies. Wagner. I have not seen Back to the Future. I've never. I've not. It's a lot of shows I haven't watched, truthfully. Drew Jones on the Invicta. On Angels with another, it's Caden Dana base auto for the Angels. Ah, oh, come on, we've seen better than this, guys. Little subpar Kowser. Yeah, I've never watched a lot of like common shows like A Land Before Time, for example. I've never watched A Land Before Time. I've never watched, um, I mean, quite a bit, really. I don't know what other like retro shows. Never watched Pulp Fiction. Encarnacion, although I love. I recently watched like Casino with Joe Pesci, and now I can never look at Joe Pesci the same ever again. I knew Joe Pesci from Home Alone. Not like, not like, I haven't watched a ton of movies. Like, I did and I didn't, I guess. No, they're good. They were just more, they were going to have me order two more and I told them. Oh. I don't know. You got to, you got to name. Yeah, I only recently watched Casino. But I knew him from, it's hard to watch because exactly, I knew him from Home Alone. They were the Wet Bandits, exactly. Sticky fingers, sticky fingers. I didn't watch Christmas Vacation. The only one I know is Vegas Vacation. That was actually the first film when I learned. There's Justin Crawford. 
when I learned about Vegas. I grew up on Vegas vacation, though. That was a thing. Want to know a fun fact? Like, a, a totally random fact. The first time in my life I ever lost my voice was the time I watched Vegas vacation at home. I think it was on VHS. And the auto was, like, up top on this one. We're ending on a true blue of Luis Garcia for the Blue Jays. Yeah, unless unless we got a super somewhere in this, guys. That was not the business. This case was definitely bottom two cases for me. Susak on a purple lava. I love Space Spaceball is one of my favorite movies of all time. The Big Lebowski, Lebowski nope. Butterfly Effect, nope. Goodwill Hunting, nope. Oh, wow, I just noticed. Look at that big bend. Not get, never watch Goodfellas, nope. Never watch Sopranos. I only recently watched, like, Breaking Bad and stuff. De Paula. I'm not a huge TV guy, that's why. James Wood on the Atomic. I've probably been. Which one was the natural? I've seen the rookie probably when I was like a kid, but I can't re I can't rehearse none of it. I don't remember natural was Kevin Costner. Never watched the not nope. Garcia purple. Yeah, Field of Dreams, yes. Field of Dreams, of course. But I've never watched, like, A League of Their Own. I didn't fully watch Bull Durham. Like, I've seen, like, clips on it on, like, MLB Network and stuff, but I've never, like, got into it. Bad News Bears, nope. Of course, Sandlot. That's, like, an all-time great. Of course, you got to watch Sandlot. Guys, this case was not the not the business. I watched the Charlie Sheen one. Which one was the Charlie Sheen one? No, I'll tell you a baseball movie that I'm a little disappointed at was Trouble with the Curve. Trouble with the Curve. That was one. I love Clint Eastwood. Anything that Clint Eastwood does is like 